Mystic River watershed in the greater Boston area is densely populated. About half of the residents live within two miles of the river. In the past, there's ample evidence that people swam in the river, they fished in the river, the herring run was so, so thick. People said you could walk across the shallow sections of the river on the backs of fish. Today, because of industrial activities and derelict waterfront structures, many people in the watershed don't have access to this natural resource. Contamination from old industrial sites creates excess nitrogen, which can cause algal blooms, dead zones, and fish kills. The water also has high levels of harmful bacteria. If um, people in the neighborhoods near the river or in the communities through which the river flows feel that the river's, quote, dirty, they're disheartened and they don't, uh, they're discouraged from working to make the changes in their communities that will improve water quality. This is the focus of our advocacy right now is both on water quality issues but also on helping connect people to the river. On the Mystic, communities see regulatory efforts as an important part of the solution. I talked with a number of people in EPA and they were asking me what can we do to help your community groups uh, with the work you have underway? And I said, it's simple, enforce the law. EPA enforcement uh, has begun to make it a, a very big difference. More and more people are recognizing that the river is improving, that water quality is improving, that it's safe to go near the river. It appears to me that the only way to succeed in this kind of advocacy is to set out for the long term. Nevertheless, the river's life continues, and that's perhaps the most extraordinary part of the inspiration I receive from the work I do.